Ooh, fancy! Hi everyone, and welcome to this small extra video just because I got something very interesting in the mail. Before I'm going to start anything, I would like to say that nothing in this video is sponsored and I bought this box with my own money just because I really wanted all the stuff that's in here. So without further ado, let me tell you what I've got here. The box I've got in front of me is an experience box and it is part of the LARP Zomer Festival which is going to be held next weekend. Unfortunately, due to everything going on worldwide, this festival has to be held digitally again this year. But to make it slightly more physical, there is this box of goodies you could buy that would make your festival all the more enjoyable. So, um, let's just see what's in here. While I'm unpacking this box, let me explain you what the festival is in slightly more detail. It is a festival aimed at LARPers that have been LARPing for many years and for new LARPers who just want to see what it's all about. The festival is aimed at the Netherlands and most of the program items will be in Dutch, but nonetheless, if it sounds very interesting, there will be a link to the event somewhere here, I assume. And I think this can now be opened. Ooh, fancy! So, due to the festival being Dutch and everything being Dutch, there will be some translating going on. And there is a thank you note in here. And what is in the box, including what other shops contributed to this box, because they asked some lovely local shops to contribute items for the boxes. And it has a lovely glitter packing paper with a thank you sticker. Let's see. This really looks professional, guys. <laughs> you really did your best at this. Um, let's see. Packing paper. <laughs> I guess not for me, but there will be lots of other people whose pets can enjoy this because it seems to be just paper. Nice. And uh, let's just put that aside as it's not as relevant for me. So um, there were multiple options with this box. You could choose between either a t-shirt or a mug. I chose for the t-shirt and you could choose to go for a snacks expansion with either beef jerky or honey uh, bricks. I went with a snack ex expansion with the honey uh, things. And so let's just see what's in here. And I can already see one of the bigger things, which is of course the t-shirt with Anyone who knows me a bit knows that I've been throwing these comics around quite a lot. There could be worse comics made a design for these t-shirts and translated it says it's way too early for this. Which, well, I mean, combined with the drawing, it's just, you know, I like my t-shirts. Um, there is also a bag with the same design. And let's see what else is in here, because I knew some of the contents, but I didn't know everything and some was on purpose a surprise. So let's see, I see the honey. I'm really looking forward to this. I haven't had this in ages and it's one of the things that I always buy when I'm at Castle Fest and such. So that stuff is just lovely. What's this? Okay guys, this is great. It's um, unfortunately it's all in Dutch. Um, but these are recipe cards with, well, very simple recipes like bread to dip and you take a bread and you take a dip. But the way that it's described is, well, completely in, in game character fantasy. Um, I'm gonna have fun reading these. Um, ooh, there's a button from the store that provided the honey. That's nice. And we've got bags of popcorn, salty and sweet. There is more snacks. And let's see, it's a box in a box. Mm. 
Oh, it's more snacks. It's oh, it's um, these are apple with cinnamon and sugar and oh, that's quite a lot as well. You know, the most difficult thing about getting a box with a snack expansion is having to save all of this until next weekend when it's actually the festival. Some of it might be gone before that because it all looks lovely and I like to randomly snack. <laughs> Let's see, there is a ask me about LARP patch, which, well, I mean, it, this is going to be great on any bag. And I've seen people already play around with this in the Discord. There may be a mimic sticker. Um, yeah, this will find a good place. And a sticker of the honey. And a very nicely wrapped postcards. But of course, they're all LARP related. And oh, I like this one. This is my style. Maybe I should provide a picture of these because I'm a bit shaky. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. This one spells on top in Goblin, so of course it's poorly written, happy birthday, but with some spelling mistakes. And another one of the, it's too early for this comic. And eat, sleep, LARP, repeat. These are too big of a waste to send. They'll have to find a nice space in my craft room here somewhere. So these are nice. There is a nice cloak pin from the Dolle Griet who sells costumes. And a, oh, that's adorable. A dog pin, not sure if it's visible from there. But this is by Barbed Wire and Roses, who makes amazing leather work stuff and also very good address for any dice bags or other stuff that's embroidered on leather. And here at the bottom of the box, there are some coloring pages. Again, with the comic drawn by Could Be Worse. And another one of the Goblin Birthday Party, which I mean, isn't it adorable? And there is a printout. I think this is going to be slides of one of the talks that's going to be given. Um, on plot in perspective, LARP as narrative medium. So yeah, I am amazed by everything that's in this box. Um, <laughs> can't even remember how much I paid for it, but it does fully make sure that the digital LARP festival does feel a lot more physical. And I mean, we're all going to be there. I mean, it's going to be a weekend with a lots of webcam on and we can all talk to each other, but still. But I mean, being together in a physical space is still a lot different. And this does, I guess, sort of bridge the gap. Hopefully next year we can all be in the same location again, uh, eat, sleep and party together, um, eat, sleep, LARP, repeat. But yes, I am so going to enjoy the contents of these box and this shirt will definitely see a lot of wear. So yes, uh, something slightly different from my usual content, but it's a quick in-between video and I hope you did enjoy this small unboxing. Later this year, during Cozy, I am going to give more talks on LARP and I want to properly introduce LARP to my channel. Um, so stay tuned for that on my side. And again, if you are interested in having a weekend with Dutch LARPers and Dutch talks and everything, do look at the LARP platform and LARP Zomer Festival websites because the content is going to be amazing. Personally, I'm also going to give a talk, um, <laughs> but yeah, 
uh, I'm really looking forward to it and to everyone attending I will see you next weekend and to everyone else I hope to see you soon again on my channel and see you next time so I am quickly back because now I had the chance to actually read these recipe cards and they're funnier than I anticipated so I do want to translate one of them for you the reason is that these aren't actually recipes except maybe the pancakes all the recipes are like this is a recipe for melted eh? ingredients the first packaged snack you can find description on a very warm summer day you forget to eat to fix this you go by the bar and grab a snack you put it in your pockets forget that you put a snack in your pockets an hour later during the monologue of the epic priest guy you suddenly remember you had a snack in your pocket melted mm. is now done <laughs>